Good morning everyone, my name is Tom Henney. Today I'd like to share with you a little problem that I have when I was attempting to load a program to an MP2600 made by Yasakawa using the MotionWorks IEC Pro software. So I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to actually demonstrate this for you. So I'm going to come up here and I am going to make my project and I should come up with zero errors and zero warnings. It's a relatively simple project here. I'm going to come over here and open up the dialog control box and download the program for you. In a few seconds here you should see an error message come up. And it's a version handling error basically what it's telling me is that the version from the compiled program on my laptop does not match the version for the controller itself. So I'm going to click OK here. Now let me close out the resource box here along with the message window here. And what I'd like to do is show you exactly where you can find this information that you need within the software and on the controller itself. So I'm going to come over here to the resource for the MP2600 and ensure that it's highlighted and then right click and go to settings and under version here under build settings you have the MP2600 IEC controller with a version of 2.5.0. Now let me hit cancel here because we don't want to make any changes to this yet because I'd like to show you exactly where you can find this information on the controller right now. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to open up Internet Explorer or in this case it's going to be Google. And if I type in the network address for the controller. In this case it's the default settings. It's 182.168.1.1 and I have Internet Explorer here but it says that 6 is required and I do not have 6 on here. So I'm going to click on the link here and it should allow me to pull the information that I need. Now without typing in for the login I can see the version number right here is 2.3 so now my version number in my build for my software needs to be at that version or below. Now with this information in mind, I'm going to X out of my Internet Explorer here and come back to my program. And I am going to come over here to the resource for the MP2600 in the tree here and right click and go to settings again. I'm going to come here to where it says build settings and I'm going to use the little drop down arrow here and I'm going to select the 2.1.0 since there is not a match for the 2.3.0 so I'll select this one here and then click OK. Now I'm going to come back up to the top here and I'm going to make this project for you. I'm going to compile it and I should still have zero errors and zero warnings. I'm going to come over here and open up the project control dialog box and I'm going to download the program for you just to prove that we actually resolved the issue. Now wait for it. It should be coming. There it goes. Now I'm going to X out of the dialog box here and then X out of my message window and I'm going to open up the debug for you and show you that we actually have a working program here now on the controller. And I'm going to click over right here to start the program. As you can see my timer is running and my position is moving. Now I'm back to where I belong. So that's it for this video. So if you liked it or you learned something, let me know. Leave a comment. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.